Ready? Okay. A few years ago, we snuck into one of the world's most <laughs> exclusive celebrity parties. And, and this, this was, was that story. story. Hi guys, I'm And I'm <laughs> Wait, maybe we shouldn't say our names. Yeah, maybe not. I remember sitting in my dorm room, I think I was on my laptop or something. I was like reading about the Met Gala and I was mm -hmm. like, oh, I want to go. Like, I wish I was like famous or knew somebody. So I was like, okay, she should go to this and I'm... <laughs> I could be a good psychic. You're my wing woman. <laughs> Quick side note, the Met Gala is an event put on by the Metropolitan Museum of Art and Vogue, I believe. All the coolest, hottest celebs come and dress to the nines and there's always like a really sick theme. So as soon as I said this to you, you were like, yeah, let's do it. And neither one of us were really like, are you sure? Or like, yeah, there was no resistance. No, it we, just happened. And we just started planning. Yeah. Initially, we thought our best bet would have been to be waitresses. I feel like we got that idea from a movie. For some reason that was like our go-to, but then... It just seemed rational at the time. Yeah, but then it kind of, <laughs> we realized it wouldn't really work. We didn't know if they wore white shirts, black shirts, ties. We just did a massive brainstorm of all our options. So we thought of paparazzi, we're gonna be celeb stylists. But we found out that this major magazine was gonna be there and we thought that maybe we could be a part of it. I remember you sending me like people's LinkedIn pages and being like, we're gonna be this person, this is our job, <laughs> like this is our title, this is what we do. We ended up deciding against using other people's names because like that's whack and weird. So we were just gonna, we went as ourselves, but we had like titles and we were a part of this publication. You pointed out that a lot of the photographers and press people were wearing like just black, black and white. Mm -hmm. So I think that's, we were just like, we're gonna blend in. I remember I went to a thrift store and I was like sending you photos photos mm -hmm. of the dresses I was trying on and then I just found this one. It was amazing. It was a black long dress. A little bit revealing at the front. <laughs> just a little. Just a little. I ended up wearing, I wanted to look professional so I ended up wearing a blazer with nothing underneath, some gold jewelry, professional, black pants. <laughs> Keep in mind all of this is happening like 48 hours in advance of the actual Met Gala. I guess it was hard to actually find the information of where to go. Right. They are good at keeping it you know, under wraps. I had class that day, yeah. and you had mentioned that we should get there a bit earlier because we were pressed. So we picked a time to go that like worked for both of us. I also feel like we were rushing to get ready. It was like, oh my god, this is happening. You know, let's just put it all on. I think I was like, let's take the bus, or, or let's take the train. <laughs> and then I was like, how the hell are we going to I was like, oh no, Uber Black XL. Yeah, so we, got, we decided to order an Uber Black. We got into the car, and we thought we had to keep it from the Uber driver. And I remember we were just like looking at each other. We were so still <laughs> in character. He was like, so where are you guys going? And we're right. like, the Met Gala. And he was like, oh, kind of asking us questions. And more and more, like, our characters kind of, like, disintegrated. And we just became <laughs> yeah. ourselves. And then we're like, here's what's actually going on. We're sneaking into the Met Gala, and you're driving us there. I think he was a YouTuber or something. Yeah, he, had... he apparently had, like, one million subscribers. It was fate for us to get him as a driver. We're approaching the Met Gala, yeah. and we see some police. So I decided to stop the car, and we roll down the window. And I just asked the police, where's the entrance to the Met Gala? And they were like, right this way. Lo and behold, <laughs> around the corner was the line of huge black cars filled with celebrities. And I think that's when it really hit me. It was like, people are everywhere. People have cameras. People are touching our windows. Mm -hmm, like taking photos of us, like banging on the, on the glass. Yeah, I remember <laughs> I was shaking. I felt a rush of adrenaline. We didn't say a word to each other. We were just like, Oh my God, we were about to walk in. Kind of felt like everything was in slow motion. It was in slow motion. In that moment, I didn't feel like I was pretending to be a celebrity. I felt like I was a celebrity. I remember pulling up and seeing like the entrance to the red carpet and there's like these huge security guys like no, opening the door. Was, opening was, the door for people. It was people. like these hot male guy, um, male models. Whoever opened up my door was cute. <laughs> Lucky. And there was like a huge SUV in front of us and they opened the door and it was Nicki Minaj. So she gets out with her entourage and I'm like, I don't know, even know if I said anything, but I like might have nudged you and I was like, and we were like miming to each other. <laughs> and then you noticed Madonna. Madonna was behind us. Yeah. You had cameras and you were kind of trying to like push them aside because we realized we couldn't really be pressed anymore. Press doesn't just roll up onto the red carpet ready to be photographed. You were squeezing my hands so tightly. There was just this big crowd of celebrities. We kind of just like pulled over behind them to try and 
blend in and like regroup. And turns out we were next to Zoe Kravitz, like right next to Zoe Kravitz. And Lord. Miles Teller and I may have had a few little eyes together. I think they locked. We noticed that there was a small little kind of makeshift table mm -hmm. with this girl behind it with a checklist. We tried to avoid that. And I remember she gave us some eyes. So I was like, oh, is she gonna come over here or do we need to check in? But I remember as we were like trying to snake our way kind of into the, um, the crowd, we realized we were gonna be spit out onto the red carpet. They just would have been Amazing. Amazing, but <laughs> terrible. <laughs> so we kind of are panicking and like, we can't turn back. We can't go out there. What do we do? So we kind of just are standing there, like non-verbally communicating with our eyes mm -hmm. and freaking out. Eventually the lady came up to us. I don't know, I just got my shit together. I really calmed down and I said that we were from that big magazine that we'd planned. I didn't say names though. She went back to look and she was like, this is not the press entrance. And I was like, she's onto us like, there's no way. I might as well just like beat them to it. So I kind of like scrammed. Yeah, I just started running before I even noticed. You I remember I run. looked around like sprinting. We try and go to the press entrance. So pretty much the guy said no, but then we asked to use the bathroom. Mm -hmm. We were we were determined. On our way to the bathroom, we met this guy. We start speaking. He was somebody's stylist, I think. Oh, I saw you guys inside. Like what happened? We were like, oh, there was a mix up. Like. We were trying to get there for press, but we got there too late. Like now we're just trying to figure out like how to get in. We're still in character a little bit. And then we exchanged numbers. We we went to the bathroom and kind of realized like it wasn't gonna work. So we we went out, we- We lost hope. Yeah, we <laughs> lost hope. We took an Uber Black on the way there and then we took, I think an Uber Pool on the way back because yeah. we were like, you know, we are humble girls on a budget. And we were both kind of just like freaking out over what just happened, just like recapping it. I'm pretty sure either the Uber, Uber driver or whoever was in the car was like, did I just hear you guys correctly? Like, yes. did you just sneak into the Met Gala? And we were like, yeah, we did. <laughs> what we thought was just this guy like trying to hit on us. He was like texting us to come out and like come to this party with him. And we were like, oh, we're tired. We don't really know this guy's deal, whatever. It actually turned out that it was the official after party for the Met Gala. And there were even more celebs at the after party than the Met Gala. Um, and we didn't go and we should have. <laughs> For anyone who says we didn't actually get into the Met Gala, we did. Yes. We were sandwiched in between we Nicki did. Minaj, Miles Teller, Bella Hadid, Madonna, Victoria's Secret Models. So, did Goodbye. you do that? No, I don't think so.